All right, welcome to FWF episode 102. Yes, 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 it is 102. The last episode before Revolution 5. Yes, yes, yes. Revolution 5 should be pretty good. Um, I think we've got about seven matches. I think seven or six. Might be six. Might be seven. Not sure. All I do know is that every championship will be on the line. And the main event of this episode is a non-title matchup between FWF International Champion Super Ran and the Prince of All Stands, Vegeta. Vegeta has some new gear. We're going to show that off later. We also have all champions on this episode. Every champion will be here, whether whether they are wrestling or not. The Joker will be facing Green Ranger in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Spider-Man and Goku will have their final confrontation before the pay-per-view. Caviera has her confrontation with Raven. Raven will be facing Starfire in a non-title matchup. Caviera will be facing Pink Ranger in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Melina versus Armika as we're in Indianapolis, Indiana. Should be a very, very intriguing episode. How are we going to kick this one off? Ah! Apparently, Caviera is on her way to the ring. I wonder what's on her mind and what she's got to say. Caviera on a roll, still undefeated here in FWF, looking to become champion when she faces Raven. Will she defeat Raven and become champion? Or will Raven retain? I don't know. Should be an interesting match, however. How is this one going to play out, though? Caviera apparently going to call out Raven. Not exactly sure what she's going to talk about here. Is she going to do a This Is Your Life segment? Is she going to make fun of Raven? Is she going to talk trash? Is she not going to talk at all? Is she going to be nice? I highly doubt she's going to be nice. I mean, Caviera has a reputation of attacking people after defeating them for whatever reason. I mean, you've already won. Why you got to attack them again? I don't know. The Tag Team Champions... Naruto and Sasuke will be facing Dr. Doom and Jack Frost in a non-title tag team matchup later on as well. I think I've covered the entire match card now. I'm hoping this episode isn't too long, but I hope every match is good. That's, that's really all I want for every episode, just for every match to be great. And if you're new to this, yes, I do play all the matches. Yes, sometimes I, or the majority of the time, I usually win with whoever I play as. However, if I lose, it changes up a lot of things, which makes it interesting. I can lose. It's very, very possible. But here comes Caviera. Now, this is self-made Caviera, so, you know, if she doesn't look all that great, then, hey, I apologize. But, you know, I did my best. Just blowing kisses and everything, waving to the fans. I mean, a lot of people booing her, but I don't think she really cares. Silence. I'm done playing around here. It's time to let every woman in the FGBF know who calls the shots. And I'm about to do that right here, right now. Oh, the FGBF universe in their farce. Ah, false idols. I can't wait to break down this superstar right in front of your eyes. You guys all think she's untouchable, huh? You think she's talented. Here's a question. What happens when I expose every one of her vulnerabilities? Raven, I finally had enough of you. Get down here right now, 
or so help me, there's going to be hell of a lot of trouble. I'll give you to the count of ten to get your skinny fat ass down here. One, two. And Raven answers the call. Caviar has already defeated Raven in a non title match, albeit via interference, but she has defeated her as I've mentioned many times before. And with that, Caviar becomes the number one contender. I don't know how Raven's going to be able to defeat Caviar, considering Raven does not have a lot of momentum going into her match after her loss to Rogue on the last episode. But how is Raven going to bounce back? I don't know. Raven getting right in her face too. What's this going to be? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is I. The most beautiful woman in this company has arrived and I've got something that I want to say. Look, I know you think you're hot stuff because you're some internet darling and you get these people to cheer for you. Thing is though, there's people these people aren't ever in the ring with you. They can't get the job done for you. Am I the only? I'm only out here to give you fair warning. Keep your name out of my mouth because I'm like Bloody Mary. You say my name enough times, I'm going to show up and you're not going to like what happens next. Seeing you up close, I'm seeing you in a whole new light tonight. Who did your makeup? Is the circus in town? You look like a clown. Oh wait, maybe you're just not wearing any. Yeesh, I knew you were ugly. But now, I didn't realize you were a freak show. Ugly. I can't stand superstars like you who get where they are by kissing ass and sucking up to the boss. Do you think CJ Stream is your friend? He doesn't care about you. You're just a pawn to him. And it's time to take you off the chessboard. Now, um, just, just clear this up. I don't actually think that about Caviera. So she doesn't come back here and you know, beat the hell out of me. I have no problem wiping the floor with you in front of the FGF universe. You just name the time and place, and I'll show you what happens when amateurs like you step into the ring with professionals like me. And once again, Raven is not going to take any more crap. Oh, kicks to the body. Oh, and Caviar with a drop kick now on Raven, and Caviar leaves. She's heading up the ramp. Now mocking Raven. And Raven looks like she's going to go out to Caviar here. Caviar trying to retreat, but Raven is not having this. They're on the ramp now. Oh, power slam. Oh, my God. She baited her with that one. Now, throwing up the ramp. Kicks to the back now from Caviar. She completely baited Raven. Oh, my God. God, right hand. Lift her up. Looks like some kind of body slam. No Raven able to escape. And there's a nice escape from Raven. And the fans are pumped. Oh, what a what a punch to the chest. Right there. And another kick to Caviera. Just dismantling her on the ramp here with the strikes. And another kick from Raven. Damn. Caviera. Oh, kick to the face. There we go. Caviera need to get out of that one. Oh, going for it. Raven though, oh, Caviar catches her coming in, and a big palm strike by Caviar. Taunting Raven now from behind. Oh my God, folding her up with a dragon suplex. Oh, trading back and forth here. Oh wait, no, Caviar's actually got the advantage. Look at these right hands from Caviar. Kicks to the gut now, and a knee to the body. Now what's Caviar gonna do here? Oh my God, suplex on the ramp. Caviar just took out Raven. I can't wait for their matchup. That was intense. They're free getting control of the action. Let's move on to our first matchup. Melina versus Armika.